Thank you, Adam. And it's time to set up those tents and chain up your chairs. Easter camping is back at Breck. Yeah, the city of San Antonio lifting the curfew last night at nine different parks, allowing the return of the Easter weekend tradition. Garrett Berger joins us from one of the most popular spots. That's Brackenridge Park. Garrett. Well, we're starting to see people here in the park. You've got families behind me. You can hear the music and see grills getting lit up along the along this path over here. But like earlier this afternoon, it is all pretty calm. Now, tents and families typically fill Brackenridge Park, which for many is an Easter tradition to come out here and camp. Now, one that was broken the past two years because of the pandemic. And those people who are returning that we've talked to have noticed there don't seem to be as many people. You would not find a spot. Now there's, you can still find parking. Yeah. I mean, we have two vehicles parked right next to us. That's usually very hard to do. <laughs> yeah, we usually got to park a mile away. <laughs> it's like I'm already here at the Weedy. Might as well take the tour. Now, one family of campers we did find was able to find a spot for a day picnic, just staying for the afternoon with only a little bit of bother. But I check around the area and uh, and, and drove around. For maybe five ten minutes okay and i checked it and i spot this table and i said no name on it <laughs> i'll get to it this is mine now things could still pick up after all saturday and sunday are the really big days and by the time we get to easter morning it's likely going to be a lot easier to find an easter egg that is going to be to find an open table live at brackenridge park i'm garrett berger ksat 12 news